I'm Perry, and we're in my mom's garden, where today we'll be discussing water features. My mom has three water features in her garden. We will discuss how each of those are made, some of the maintenance required, as well as some tips for creating your own. This is the easiest fountain that I've made, uh, that I have. Um, I bought a black river form. Uh, I dug a hole, put rocks around it. I put a submersible pump in. I fed it up through a decorative pump sitting on a box. And I love it. As well as being the easiest pond to make, it's also the easiest pond to maintain. I try to rely on rainwater to keep it filled up, but when that doesn't happen, uh, every four or five days, I might have to fill it back up with water from my water hose. Um, I skim the leaves off the top. I clean the filter and the, the pump filter and the pump out once a year. I wouldn't put a fish in this pond because it's in the direct sunlight and since the pump the, pot, the tub is black and the water gets too hot. And this is the perfect pond for a fish because it has shade and sunshine. It's also the second hardest pond that I've built. You can see the fish in there. You can see it right there. <laughs> um, it's again, it's a, it's a preformed tub. I dug a hole, put rocks around it, put a submersible pump in it. Um, I have it running up through two millstones, which were gifts for my children, and it's sitting on a metal stand. The maintenance on this pond is similar to the other one. Um, I just have to keep, keep checking on the water. Um, I don't feed my fish. I usually keep a plant and some floating plants and then a plant inside that I haven't got to get haven't got to purchase them yet this year. Um, and the and the fish eats from the plant. In the fall, I use a net that I place over the fountain. I don't turn the pump off, I leave the pump running. And uh, it keeps the leaves out and the animals out. The little silver ball, I leave it floating all winter also because it keeps the water from freezing on the top and lets help the oxygen be in the water for the fish. The fish stays in all winter long. This fountain was the hardest to build because I had to figure out a support. The rock is so heavy, I can't even lift it myself. To make this fountain, I had to dig a hole. I put a reservoir tub in the bottom with a submersible pump. I then made a metal stand out of metal fencing. I lay a sheet of rubber over the top with a hole in the middle and set the rock on top of it. I feed the pump up through the hole in the rock and I like to use a variety of rocks, different sizes and shapes. I find all over. I use seashells and I place them to where they look as, try to look as natural as possible. 